Hello folks, today we will see how Aquinox helps secure the 5G HDRAN project. HDRAN project is an ORAN compliant micro ONOS based cloud native near real time RIC and X applications platform. HDRAN project is based on micro ONOS architecture, leveraging microservices and is using gRPC APIs for inter process communications. We are going to secure RAN in the box deployment or IAB, which deploys HD RAN infrastructure, including EPC, emulated RAN, and ONOS controller services over Kubernetes. We have HD RAN in a box deployment here. There is an ONOS operator managing various micro ONOS control plane components and X applications running inside a Kubernetes cluster. Kubearmor is a cloud native runtime security enforcement system that restricts the behavior such as process executions, file accesses, and network operations on containers and virtual machines at the system level. Kubearmor leverages eBPF for deep observability and Linux security modules for enforcement. Kubearmor is going to help with analyzing X application behavior. It will help us harden ONOS control plane elements. It will help us harden and apply zero trust principles to X applications. Let us focus on a particular X application and see how Kubearmor is going to help us secure. Onos KPMON is an X application running over Onos HDRAN to monitor the KPI. Onos KPIMON collects KPIs reported by E2 nodes through KPM service model version 2.2. This is a graph generated by Kubearmor to understand how the KPI mon and other microservices of the micro ONOS architecture interact over the network. We can see here that the ONOS CLI starts interaction with KPI mon service to fetch all the metrics that's, that it needs. In turn, ONOS KPI mon subscribes to E2T through ONOS Topo to gain very to gain various KPIs at a particular set monitoring interval. Kubearmor not only generates this graph, but even provides you with a granular view of what's happening inside the KPI on application itself. We can see here what all processes are accessing what files and network primitives inside the KPI on pod. We can see how primarily the KPI on binary is responsible for sensitive file accesses and network interactions. Let's try to harden the KPMON application. Kubearmor provides you with recommended set of policies, which will help secure based on frameworks like MITRE, PCI DSS, NIST, NSA, and CIS. We will also take a look at how we can set up zero trust rules as well. We saw in the application behavior report that only how only KPM on binary was accessing the sensitive file paths and network paths. Kubearmor auto discovers policies such that your lo you lock down your access to network primitives and sensitive assets, such as to certain known binaries only. Let's see these enforcement in action. Here's a report from Kubearmor suggesting what all ways we can harden our application itself. There are a lot of recommended policies, but we are going to focus on a few of them. Applications come with all the required bundle application with them. So package management execution at runtime is a threat. So if we now try to access package management tools here, let's say we I want to add a particular malicious binary here. We see permission was denied and we got an alert saying that package management execution inside container is denied and it was blocked by Kubearmor with all the relevant data, okay, which process was executed, what was the parent process, what are the specific PIDs, host PIDs, what was the pod, which pod. So we have all the context so as we can take other remedial actions if, we, if needed. 
similar to package management execution we there should no uh, there are root certificate files which should not be modified at runtime these certificate files are trusted certificate directories and it should not any drift in them is a security threat so so suppose this is a certificate private file now if i try to modify this file i get a permission denied and a relevant telemetry event was generated for me saying that okay so credentials modification is denied and similarly i have all the entire entire data to like what in what context this event happened let's take a look at certain attack scenarios now we already talked about how downloading malicious binary to scan other resources and modifying trusted root certificates is a security concern but now let's see how we can protect a compromised x application talked about earlier onos cli interacts with onos kpmon to fetch these metrics and onos kpmon is responsible to interact with onos e2t and onos topo to subscribe and gain these metric data so that means onos KPI Mon has access to Topo and E2T. That suggests that any binary inside the Onos KPI Mon is able to access these services as well. Like we used WGET here to connect to Onos Topo and got the data. This in general is a security concern because Onos Topo can manage entity relationships and topology, which should not be allowed to non trusted apps. So let's work on a policy here such that this is a sample policy which require uh, which only allows tcp udp icmp or these protocol accesses to the onos kpm on binary itself now that we let's apply this policy now that we have applied this policy if we try to access onos topo 5152 now we see that okay bad address because a udp socket was access, denied access so dns resolution is not available but what if we try to connect to the ip directly similarly uh, the uh, this the socket creation was permission denied because network access is not available to any binary other than kpm on inside the kpm on port itself so that helps alleviate the compromised x application behavior similar to network other forms to spread so so malicious actors try to laterally move to other containers as well and they need access to service account tokens and secrets for that service account tokens can be used to move laterally inside kubernetes cluster and compromise other hd run and micro onos components as well so let's try to secure these the, them as well so we have a zero trust policy to secure our sensitive assets we deny access to these certificate onos certs as well as the service account token to everyone but we allow back the access to service account token and the certificate folder to kpm on binary itself now that we have applied this 
let's try to Yo, we got the permission denied and we had all the relevant context as well. But does that affect the functioning of the KPM on application itself? No, we can still retrieve these metrics. So KPM on is able to access these certificates, the network and every primitive is still available to KPM on binary itself. But it's micro segmented now such that other binaries inside the a KPM on pod are not able to access them. So when so we discussed the attack and so, so malware attempted to access spread over malicious other containers. So we restricted service account token to strict, being strictly controlled and only allowed specific processes to access this service account token. The other attack vector that we talked about is downloading malicious binary to scan other resources. So package management tools execution is restricted and we anyway we also restrict access execution to only trusted binaries as well. The final attack vector that we talked about is in a known X application, use a known X application to connect to HD rank components to disguise malicious intent. But we have already discussed that network access is allowed only to certain known binaries itself. So this attack is contained as well. Some key takeaways here. 5G control plane is the new attack domain of interest due to multiple vendors deploying workloads at RIC and hence increased attack radius. One needs to isolate and micro segment these workloads. Zero Trust 5G ability is the ability to apply least permissive policies will help us secure the 5G control. Cube Armor enables the Zero Trust 5G security. Cube Armor provides you with deep observability using eBPF telemetry. It provides you with granular auto-generated policy for container isolation. It also helps you with security best practices and hardening policy recommendation for these X applications and workloads. Thank you.